You're watching Suck Professor. Hello, everybody. It's me, Hank. <laughs> I can't touch the button with my foot anymore. I can move it, probably. Oh, that's going to hurt. That's going to pull something. That's going to pull something. Got to be careful. I still want to have babies. I don't. Who wants to have fucking kids? Are you kidding me? Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Tuning in. Episode 150. What are you going to drink to celebrate? Liquid Tide? Um, store brand Tide? It's all up to you. Uh, yeah, so welcome, everybody. We're playing Valheim. Um, James just so generously helped me haul back a lot of metal. And we uh, did it in our big old boat. Um, look at all the look at all the silver we've got. We've got tin. We got copper. We've got metal processing to go on here for days and days and days, and it's going to be tedious. So we're 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 prepping for a big boss fight against Modor or whatever, um, and um, that means we need to be uh, processing silver in order to do a bunch of upgrades. So we're going to try to stay... F Oops, guess not. Speaking of focus, I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, going to try to stay, you know, keep this smelting operation running. Um, and the other thing that I kind of want to do is start in... Since, since it's going to be kind of a lot of running around the house, I would like to start on getting back into the building project that is ahead of us which is quite massive i actually have quite a lot to do uh, roof stuff to fix we've got kind of the front of the house or uh, the whole downstairs is a giant mess that is um, on purpose to you know and uh, yeah so it's gonna be a lot of that i guess that's what it's gonna be um so we'll just let that run as it is. Let me hit the repair station. And uh, yeah, it'll be good. Very curious to see what reward we get from killing Motor. So here's our little podcast studio. That's fun. Uh, talk show set, you could call it. Um, man, how do we even get started on that? So I think what I want to do, instead of clearing everything, I don't have a perfect thought through plan in my head but I also want to I'm trying to think in terms of defense too and robustness and I know we're going to be attacked by bigger things and uh, if I just have wood wait a minute I see something alive hold on got him you too how dare you run from me ah oh, he stopped Um, I know we're going to attack like some, if, if those trolls came at this place and they're just hitting the wood parts, it's, it's going down, it's going down hard. So what I want to do is build a entrance. I figured like if I could start with the front facade, if you can picture Hollywood, fake walls, fake fronts, I'm not going to do a fake one, but, um, so let me get my hoe, put my hoe in my hoe slot. I'll leave the pickaxe there. Um, we'll do a little bit of that grading. So I don't know exactly where I want to place it. I want it to be level with this basement. It could be up one layer too, but it's already low. So, okay. I'm going to chop down. It might not even let me. Sometimes this game... Yeah, like, look, it's not really letting me dig down. I think I'm just too close to the water. I don't know why it was like that. Although maybe I'm misunderstanding what I'm seeing. That's usually the first assumption I should make. I want it to be grand too. I want this to have like a like a big kind of. No, that's not. That's not. Um, I don't want to say epic. I guess epic would be appropriate. But yeah, I want the. Yeah, I just want it to look cool. Okay. 
I'm also going to go rest up a bit. the rest I guess I got 10 minutes that's okay it's taken me like hundreds of hours so you can figure out basic basic functions of this game <laughs> far out I wanted to poke so it's not too much in the way of running around but I think it'll also be easy to get to that once it's all sort of said and done but yeah we just got a lot of this kind of stuff just sort of grading and leveling and flattening and working out the little details here I actually think we should So I need to go get some wood. Oops. That was Silver Hom. Let's put silver home somewhere. Workbench, none. Silver. As usual, I'm a little confused about my own portals. So, of course, we'll eventually dial it all in. But once the house is kind of built up, we'll see. It'll be... Alright. The problem is, every this whole land is sloped in a way that requires me to dig out quite a lot more. stuff.
Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think the... Yeah. Okay. Right around... Mm. Alright, fuck it. We'll go... Yeah, let's make it... Not that this is much bigger, but we'll just make it a little wider. Hey, what are you doing over here? Make all kinds of noise, huh? No? Huh? Got any got any hammers that turn me into ice? Yes, I do. I guess the yeah okay see this that pillar right there that'll be like the right wall we'll basically think of it as the right side wall so the front entrance will be nice and big and that'll be like the footprint of the whole building that we're adding to you so basically I'm adding what I'm thinking here is roughly three times more space than I've already built and it's gonna be vertical so there'll be a whole roof going back. There's a lot of space right here. Okay, let's go check on the smelter. I'm sure it's done. Probably gonna burn up all of our wood easily by the time we're done smelting everything. So I'll end up having to redo this, although I've gotten it so memorized, it's going to be kind of tragic to get rid of that organizing. But although maybe I can keep it. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. We'll see. It'll, it'll, once it's, it's too early to make that decision. You can't really assess that until I have some walls up. Let's put up some fire thingies so we can see. Why is that working? All right, fire thingy. So I want to flatten here. I know it's going to ruin it. Just want it to be flush with this bottom. That guy in the water. <laughs> he was just trying to find stuff with his toes. You ever lose something in the water and have to use your toes to look for shit? Like at a lake or a river? Uh, you like staggering around with your toes? Your toes become the only sens sensory organ that you can use to, to touch. Hopefully you bump into it. Ooh, I found grandma's dentures. Pick them up. Wait, these are somebody else's. 
toss it. Some fish, some big old fish catches it in the air, puts them on. Now you got a fish wearing dentures. It's a funny image. I know you're imagining it. It's pretty funny. It's my gift to you. There's people who um, put on scuba outfits and then they swim around in the bottom of mucky swamps and lakes and they look for human corpses. Here's a, okay. I'm gonna do one of my annoying, I've been thinking about doing stand up again. Keeps getting into my head. I'm like, man, I, 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 just, I just don't have access to like real stage time. I'd have to start off at fucking open mics. And I could probably try to get booked, but I don't know why anybody would book me. Um, I'd have to shake the rust off. But I was thinking about this idea. So, so bringing up as a stand, it's not necessarily a stand up, but it's just a concept. There was a time period where the monkey, and then that's taking it stupid, but our, our distant ancestors were fairly were primitive compared to us. I don't like to think of evolution in terms of uh, higher or lower. Actually, I find that sort of makes us think that we all have, we have ranks and places. I think all life forms deserve respect. But as human beings became, as the, uh, the, the, the tree, the, whatever it is that led to humans, at a certain point, we started to be uncomfortable with the bodies of our friends laying around. Right? Or your parents or you know, your your unit, whatever you live with. You're living with your little tribe of tribe of family, parents, siblings, whatever. There's death. You're gonna have death. At a certain point, humans or something, whatever we were, it was probably before we were humans, it was, you know, one of the one of the previous iterations, wasn't comfortable with the dead laying around. And I imagine all animals have some sort of notion of dealing with dead bodies. So this joke is sort of premised on the idea that they they didn't care or know what to do with the dead bodies. So that there was a period where it went from nobody gave a shit about the skeletons in the cave to hey, we should have we feel sad now. Let's let's go drag it to the river. And then that evolved to, to like, let's bury it and, and say some words and, you know, everybody has a, a fuck fest with tears. Some sort of grief ritual eventually became part of it. I'm just talking this out. This is not written. <laughs> it's a bit. But, but that means there was a period where a tra they transitioned from skeleton tolerance to... Skeleton intolerance is, is to say, let's do something with this body. So there was probably people, by people I mean like two million years ago, proto-humans of some kind, where there, there were just bones and, and dead corpses, and they were just sit, sitting around them. And, but, but some of them started to get uncomfortable, and they had to like, they had to be brave to break the social norm of speaking up about the creepy skeletons. And it probably was a pretty isolating feeling to be the one or the two or the the, the monkey, the proto-human monkey thing that was like speaking up about how how uncomfortable it was being around this, the corpse. And it, that, that one probably seemed insane. I know I'm not finding the funny vein here, but it, there is a funny premise in this if you write, wrote it out. <laughs> like, I just think it's hilarious that they were like, yeah, it's fine. What are you bothered by the skeleton? What you think? You think we should do something about the skeleton? You fucking weirdo! Get out of here. We leave the skeleton. Rats will come chew on it. I think they probably moved out, removed the dead bodies out of the way because it's, you, you know a rotting corpse. Even like a you don't. I don't think you need to have higher order consciousness to. You know don't don't all like animals kind of like have cleaning habits for their nests and shit. So it, it just kind of falls apart under the under the under the, the 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 painful, deeply probing eye of scrutiny. There's more to that. Let me let me mull on that a little bit. Put that one on one of the back the back processors in the brain. So, it's 
this fucking weirdo wants to get rid of the skeletons. <laughs> no, no, we keep skeletons. We keep, we keep, we keep flesh, flesh and 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 uh, and, and furry leather strewn skeletons around. Don't push it out. No. Maybe they ate them. Could be. I don't know if they did. I don't think they were uh, big meat. I think the meat eating er uh, emerged only in like the last uh, couple million, two to three million years. Although there might have been phases. Who knows? Um. Ugh. Yeah. So that one's pretty fun. Guys, what? Uh, anybody bothered by the skeleton? I don't know what you're talking about. Skeleton. Yeah, Jerry. Remember, eight months ago. Now he's a skeleton, and we didn't touch him. He just sit. Just now he's just a skeleton in our room. Oh. Huh. Uh oh. Hadn't thought about it. I sympathize with the with the one that was worried about the skeleton. The rotting corpse of his pal or his mother or father or grandpa grandpa or grandma. There had to be that. Tries to drag it out himself. What are you doing? What what why are you doing that? What are you what why are you taking out the skeleton? It's weird. Why shouldn't we take... Shouldn't we drag it to the river? What? And then they kill it. Well, who knows? You know, that only Jesus. Alright. Okay, so... I'm going to use wood to start, but I'm going to sort of set up a sidewalk. We're going to kind of build this as a home coming as, we're, as if we're walking up Coming home from a sales trip, angry we didn't sell enough, angry resenting our children for being alive, even though they had nothing to do with it, like a '50s dad. And um, let's see. So I'm gonna start with a. I don't even know how I'm gonna center it all. So yeah, okay, we're gonna work on a. That's mostly just to anchor. So all this stuff we're gonna kind of put up right now is gonna be. Sort of like. Let me not. Let me go hit the. The smelter thingy first here, real quick. Got a lot of rocks. I spoke at my grandma's funeral, and um, hadn't done a set in a very long time. <laughs> and afterwards, I was like, ah, oh, man, I could have done better. Could have. They looked like they were bored. No, I, I got some laughs. I cried while I was talking. But then I remember, I, I had outlined it mentally, but I missed a couple beats that I wanted to mention. That would have been pretty, pretty good. So, uh, yeah, it was all right. I mean, it was a sad time. She was 90-something. I, I, I was sad for, you know, you can't not feel sad when someone dies. But a 90-something-year-old dying is different than a 9-year-old or a 40-year-old, you know. Even a 60-year-old seems kind of young. At a certain point, though, you just kind of want to send a letter being like, yeah, I kind of expected this. <laughs> the, the, uh, the cards should reflect that that, that notion. Look, once you get over the average lifespan, 77, set, what is it right now, 80? I don't know. What, let's just say it's 78. 78-year-old dies. Hey, you got to the finish line. Good fucking job. You know, way to go. But it also sucks that you're dead. Thank you for being there, and we should all have some nice memories. 79 years old, pretty much the same thing. 80, don't get, don't get greedy now. Don't get greedy now. 85-year-old dead. The card should say, Lucky motherfucker. What what number did I say? 78? 85. Seven years. You got seven years in stoppage time, okay? 
Lionel Messi would be jealous of that. Is that the guy's name? Who's the handsome? Who's the hunky guy? Some some dude. Barcelona. I don't know anything about those that sport. Despite playing it for several years as a kid. Um ninety years old. Still sad. Yeah, you know, but like more like wow. They had color photography back then? Ninety five. Now it's like you know. She like she really did. She really was uh, stubborn. She really did. She really stubborned her way into... Now her children are dying of old age. That's the goal in life. I know I've said this before, but the goal in life should be that your children die of old age. That's how you know you've really made it. Okay? You're really fucking the universe over when, you, when your own kids die of old age and you're still going. 100 years old? Selfish prick. Get the hell out of here, okay? Make some room for the rest of us on this roller coaster of hell. You fu- Why am I doing one at a time? Okay. I'm having a little too much fun here. Making myself seem like a complete asshole. Alright. I need wood. I got the building supplies stashed all over this place. But we're going to just grab a bunch. Dandelions can go there. That's stuck. This is not at all how I want that. Alright. Alright. So this is fun. It's a big moment. I guess what I'm going to do, though, just to make sure a workbench, eh? Uh, like, they're, like, poking at the skeleton. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> skeleton head just bopping around. It falls off eventually. Skull rolling around. They probably just like pushed the bones around, used it for tools and stuff. Used the big femurs to enforce discipline. It's good times. It's good times. I've uh, I've watched a lot of David Attenborough, so I, I kind of know what I'm talking about. That's why you can trust me on this one. All right. Now I'm not doing this because this is. I'm just trying to do this to. Square us up. Here's where the woodworking comes into play. We gotta have everything lined up just damn right. Oops, not like that. Okay. Alright, so where's the front door gonna be? I also wanna take a look from far just to get a sense for... How absurd would it be if it rises up so fast, so... This is decision time. This will determine so much. Um... Okay. I think the front wall... Mm. Probably getting a little too close to the world save. Yep. Okay. All right. <laughs> Sorry. I know. I know it's boring for YouTube, but I'm just picture your your hard drive light blinking really fast. That's what's happening in my brain right now. All right. I want steps up. I want like a outdoor porch, and I want. Okay. Do I do a basement? Yeah. I don't know how many steps I should do. <laughs> We've dug down so deep. I 
don't know why it's so weird to place the workbench. Uh, uh, there it is. Uh, hey, uh, why don't you quit playing with Jerry's skeleton? Okay, quit, quit playing with Jerry's skull. You mean this rock? No, J yes, it's not a rock. That's Jerry's skull, you psycho. Those are the conversations that went on. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. As you know, I didn't. I didn't write the rules. All right, let's do a little hoeing here. Raise the ground. What the fuck? Everything, man. There's got to have so much damn materials. Okay. See, it's always like that. Maybe it's easier to flatten. It doesn't have to be perfect under there, but I do like to kind of... All right. Jeez, sorry. Okay. I gotta count this though, because if, if, it, if it doesn't end up being even, it's gonna make me nuts. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four. One, two. One, two, three, four. Alright, so that's centered. This would be the center line. That looks okay. Double check. Measure twice, cut once. Or as I do in my woodworking, measure eight times, have a sip of coffee. Measure four times, cut once. Okay, so that could be the doorway. Hmm. hmm. Actually, I like the idea that it spills into the garage. Now there'll be a stairs off the porch that also connects to the to the garage to the portal hub. I guess I just have to decide. Okay, front wall. I mean, everything can be kind of amended and fixed as we go, so I don't have to be too precious right now. Just sort of deciding where I want to put the first steps. Stone cutter. Give me a break. So, here's the thing. Here's the conundrum. If I only make two, if I only make one step up, that gives me better height in the hall I'm going to build. But I can always go more vertical. But if I go high, like three high, or four, I can actually make another room below. I would have like a creepy basement filled with skeleton heads or something. That might be kind of fun. Yeah, why don't we do that? That's 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 a good idea. Some kind of fucked up, creepy ass basement. Um, all right. So here we need supports, I guess. Let's do it on the cheap. spot at all. Which means if we're going to do a creepy 
basement. <laughs> we need a floor. Which is going to use up a hell of a lot of rocks. Uh, okay. We'll replace the floor eventually. How about that? That way we don't have to... I might widen the stairs once it's built. Alright, now. Oh man, I'm gonna need a stone cutter around here. Okay. Iron. Pretty low on iron. Yeah, like four or five or six or something over here. Five. Actually, why don't I just be smart? Not that that's a huge loss. I can always go get more, but might as well just move the stone cutter I got. I'm gonna, this is going to be like a, like, like a continuous improvement kind of project because I want to slowly build out... What the... What the... What do you mean? Is that thing just too short? Stones. Over time, I want to. I want to kind of. You know, it's going to have to be decisions I make once it's all kind of built up. That's why I can't quite commit to exactly what I want just yet. Um, fact. Let's do a smelter run. So what time are we doing here? So we'll go for a little bit longer. Uh, yeah. dead. Alright, whatever. We can't make it up there right now. Um, okay, let me think. make a couple inventory spaces. I don't think I need the flame arrows. Let's reload this bad boy. Just pick it all up. These things last forever, man. 
Alright. Ooh, okay, cool. <laughs> so it's already starting. It's good to look at it from different angles. flame stuff. What the hell? That's over? pillars here and this is going to stick straight up through it though so I don't know if this is the right Show yourself. <laughs> Doesn't work for you, pal. Alright, let's just leave the skeleton there. You know, someone had to be like, oh, don't eat the eyeballs. You can eat the meat and the liver. Don't don't do the eyeball don't eat the eyeballs. No more eyeball eating. I'm gonna make a memo. With the community, okay? We're done with eyeball eating. And then the rest of them are like, fuck this guy, we like eating the eyeballs. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> you can't tell me what to do. When I tell you this country, this country is just not what it used to be. Can't eat the eyeballs of our fallen grandmothers anymore? This is just, I'm gonna, that's it. I'm gonna get a stick. I'm mad. I was raised eating eyeballs of my grandma, of my dead grandma corpses. See what I mean? Like, why, there's always been this tension between people who, who look to change and people who don't want to change. <laughs> guys, 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 uh, look, you can eat the liver and the heart and the meat. And yeah, if, uh, even the kidneys. I know it's kind of gross, you know, because of the PP and the sulfur. I don't know. Is the, do the kidneys have sulfur in them? Maybe. I can't. Uh, look, there's no way to know. Guys, just, just not the eyeballs. All right, leave the eyeballs in there. All right, compromise, compromise. We'll leave the eyeballs, but we'll put a coin covering the hole. Will that make you feel better? Okay, good. We'll do that. Draw an eye on the coin, or on the flat rock. Maybe we'll go to flat rock before we, because we haven't invented coins yet. Okay, deal. And then they did that all the way up until they buried uh, Joffrey. It's all, it's all tied together. It's all tied, it's all threaded together. You hang out here long enough, you will see the the tapestry of the universe. <laughs> hey, I like that though. Doesn't that look cool? Oh, uh, there's your house, ma'am. Um, where's the rest of it? Oh, rest of it. Sorry, this better hold. I don't have any stones. I don't have enough stones. What if we say the eyeballs are part of like a belief structure that is like magic? You mean like a religion? Yeah. Um. Okay. All right. Yeah. Then you can eat that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, sure. Eat the eyeballs. That's said. Yeah. As long as you say it has meaning. All right. Eyeball. Yeah. I knew that was gonna happen. I guess I'll just do some more of these little supporty guys here. Since this is going to be a creepy basement. 
I have to do one for each? Hmm. I'm going to make this work. I might have to do... Yeah, is there a better way to do this? Because uh, I don't think I can just keep piling. I think they have to... Well, I have span on the other one. Maybe... My goal before we quit is just to get to the point where... Go on. Oh, I'm carrying too much here. Hi. And I got him for some poison damage. Alright, my, my hammer's out. Now we're like, do you want to touch the hand? You can touch the hand. That's okay. Touch the hand. I touched my grandma's hand when she was dead at the funeral. It was cold. But I did not eat her eyeballs out of respect for tradition. There were people who fought against that, and now it becomes our known tradition not to eat the eyeballs I asked my nephew do you want to touch your hand I wasn't trying to be jokey either we were we were in you know I was like doing you can touch your hand if you want sick <laughs> it's like I don't blame you. I'm not I'm not gonna try to talk you into that no really come on 15 year old touch your fucking hand I felt like I had to touch your hand you couldn't even go that you're, you know, lay over the body. That's okay. As long as you don't be trying to sneak them eyeballs in your mouth. Keep them eyeballs out your mouth. Okay? Don't be an eyeball eater. I don't, I don't know why I think people care about any of my shit. I don't know if this is entertaining at all. Alright, so we're heading... Yeah, what, what was I saying? Yeah, I want to have, like, the floor of the porch finished. That's sort of the idea. At least as far as this video goes. So, like, I suppose that means we got to do the floor of the creepy basement. Man, this stuff just uses a fucking stone so fast. Couldn't have warmed up the hands, huh? Funeral home? Maybe there's an app. Maybe like a gig app. You guy comes by, place an order, tap it up on your phone. Boop, 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 boop. Now when you go touch your grandma's dead hand, it's warm. The guy standing there with the heat gun. Thank you. Leave a bad review. I didn't like that. You didn't hear me. The dead hand warmer was... That's why I did not leave a full tip. Okay. All right. As much as I kind of want to make it bigger than this, I'm going to go with just this wide. But let's see if this works first or... Oh, I see. I see. What's up? Okay, hang on. Now I can make the floor one bigger, but I have to move it over. Yeah, okay, we'll make it one high up. I can always go more vertical. Then I'll have to... So this will be... Oh, 
I mean, I'd let my family eat my eyeballs. What do I care? Just eyeballs. Oh, I got really good eyes. They're zombie blue. They used to be beautiful blue. Hunky. Hunky, handsome, German blue. Nope. Now they're turning into gross gray zombie blue. You know? Like like the ocean on a cloudy day. Like, wait a minute. It's not fucking blue. It's gray. And these are actually in the wrong spot. Maybe not. I, I hope I can start dating soon. Once I get back into... Uh, it'll be still a few months probably. But like... Vaccinated. You know. Working out a little bit. And I think one way I might show affection, if it gets to that point with anybody, I'll say, You can eat my eyeballs. Eat them. Eat my eyeballs if I become a corpse. Nowadays, it's just kind of a intimacy thing. I don't know what that's talking about. I literally know. Why don't I just have a... Like, I should just scribble this shit down in a crazed journal and just be like a serial killer, have a serial killer's journal. Instead, I'm spewing it onto the internet. Why do we say, why do we do any of that stuff? Aren't you, like, you know how there's all these beautiful moments where somebody, some kid has a beautiful moment, some, somebody's reunion, you know, even when the dogs are freaking out because the soldier comes home or something or some kind of really emotional, I find the, uh, the color glasses you know people who are colorblind and they put the glasses on for the first time i find i could cry just talking about it i find those incredibly powerful i think actually i could that doesn't really fit into what i'm about to say so much but because it's such a beautiful thing whoever puts on those glasses it doesn't matter who they are they just cry right away i think it just it just overwhelms them with what's kind of beautiful is it's not scary it's pleasurable it looks like they seem so happy, but it's such an overwhelming thing, it seems. If you can imagine the world that's just sort of like browns and green, like like desaturated green and brown, just kind of crappy color. And then they put the glasses on and they see this. It's like Wizard of Oz. It's like it's all of a sudden there's vibrant, beautiful color everywhere. How could that not? You've never seen that. You're, as a baby, you've been processing color. So if you have full sight. So, of course, that would result in some sort of overwhelming emotional response. And then they get embarrassed. They're crying. But it's like, dude, just let it rip. How could you not cry? You know, your family did something nice. It's usually like a, they bought you a gift or something. It's because like, they're like three or $400 or something. But holy crap, what, what a powerful moment that must be for those people. Of course you'd cry. I cry watching Cialis commercials. That's why I watch one every morning. Anyway. I don't remember what I was talking about. <laughs> what the fuck was I about to say? Okay, so I screwed up my whole plans here by turning this basement into a little taller. Um, damn it. Now I'm all messed up. Okay, I think I just need to extend everything. All right. Yeah, I don't know what I was going to say. It's totally gone. All right, so one, two, three. Okay. I think this will do it. I'm just looking at it, yeah. Yeah, that's okay.
Then we can do the floor. I think this is a better choice. Ooh, even more majestic, huh? Okay. What's holding those up? Alright, so let's see if this works. I doubt it. I don't know. Okay. I don't know. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Okay. All right. I get it. It's okay. I think we'll do... Seems to... The, the Habsies one seems to do all right. Although I actually... Where's the wall gonna be? Um, this is also gonna be stairs, so I do I wanna do stairs? I think I can do it there, there, no. Trophy. Okay. Oh, there's a bunch. I mean, this is going to be outside wall stuff, but I might do a th even bigger stairs up the front. expect that one to work. Um. might make it one bigger. I don't know. Okay, so I replaced... Well, I think there might be two overlapping in there, but that's all right. Let's leave it. Okay. Let's 
Sorry, I'm a little bit... I just sort of wanted the porch to go all the way to the left. I sort of wanted it to be full on, but we'll just... This ain't too bad. We can do... Yeah, okay, we can step it over. Okay. I guess it just ran out of coal. Okay. I just want to get to the wall. Ah, not quick enough. I thought I could do it faster. That's right. A lot of this is probably going to get changed, too. And I mean, like, the overall shape is starting to make sense to me, but some of these support systems are going to be probably changed up. Okay, so enter, enter, enter. Big door right here. Or I do one more. I feel like the scale of it is goofy. I knew it. But I want to maintain... Yeah, all these support stuff is going to have to... Yeah, I think we're going to go for just a few more minutes, honestly. I'm pretty close to having this notion, but I'm going to start with I think having this wall cleared. 
to line up with where I said I wanted it to line up. Or at least I guess that wood will be the outer edge. So we need a wall right. Okay, we can always extend it. That doesn't have to be decided right now. Alright, that's actually pretty good, because I'm going to put... Fuck. Go away. Okay. I'm trying not to have to do big pillars and stuff. That's kind of why I'm... That's, that's holding for some reason. here a wood gate <laughs> maybe opening the other direction is better I don't know why ah all right, one more trip up, then we'll put up the door, and then I think we're gonna call it quits. So we're gonna definitely do more motor before this is done i mean there's a lot of more smelting to do and a lot more construction but we'll we'll have plenty of stuff to do the upgrades and whatnot that i want to do so where do you have 97 although it goes quick real quick
Okay. Getting the idea, kind of? And then you enter that, and there's a whole other world of work that's going to be inside. Even just getting any of this set up to work okay. It's fine. It's coming along. I don't think I'm going to do... Con I don't, I don't, I don't, I'm not going to do stone the entire way through, though, because I want there to be a mix of materials. I think wood floor will look better, especially since eventually there'll be a roof and I can protect it, and it'll, it'll, I don't have to worry about protecting it. So the outer outer surfaces are sort of fencing, in a sense, defensive walls made out of the stone. It can take a beating or two from a wolf or a troll, or a wolf with a troll. And uh, inside wood can be used a little more, and then mixed with rock. But I also want to start like building up cool big pillars that go up the side. You know, I want there to be kind of a, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, just sort of feeling it out. But I'd say it's pretty good. There's something, there's a bit of a start. It's not the symmetry I was hoping for. So I'm going to probably change the stairs on the left just to make the front porch bigger. But we'll see. We'll figure it out. Guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for tuning in. It's uh, I hope you're enjoying this playthrough. Of part 150. Here, here's to another 150, huh? Probably. By the time it'll take me to, that much just to finish this shit. Get your vaccine. Get your fucking vaccine. And uh, take care of yourself. Talk to you later. Bye bye.